What is up, guys? Welcome back to another video. So I already did a video like this, but the problem was it was on Arch Linux, and I'm no longer on Arch Linux, so Fedora users can't really follow it too closely, but we're going to be sort of turning this into Mac OS a little bit because people do like the dock. It helps with people's workflow and things like that. So I've installed Plasma real quick just to get this done, and I've also installed patched Kwin and patched Plasma Desktop to to help with the nvidia issues so that's what we're gonna do right now i just need to get rid of this real quick so the first thing that we're gonna do is enter edit mode and we're gonna move this to the top we're gonna turn this down to a whopping 32 on the height scale we're gonna be dragging this out right here just drag it out we're gonna re be removing the pager i'm going to be adding an empty panel we're going to be dragging this to the empty panel if it lets us there we go and that's it for up there minus turning off the float i don't like the float you can use the float if you want to use the float i don't like the float now we're going to keep floating on here and we're going to change the width to fixed constant and we're going to bump this all the way up to 54 just like that and we're going to do that. Then we're going to right click configure this. We're going to change this to small. So the icons are a little bit closer together because we don't need no mermaid effect. And I'm going to unpin this. I'm going to unpin this. And now I'm going to just organize real quick. You see this? This is a bug. It's annoying. And it's really annoying. Stop it. Get the... Wow, it's gotten really bad on Plasma, honestly. The fact that I can't even move. You know what? Here, you get you get over here. Are you pinned? You are pinned. It doesn't let me change things here. Hopefully, you'll have better luck than I will. Uh, for now, I'm just going to do this. Yay, we have a dock now. I'm going to get rid of all that. I'm just putting those all on there so we have a dock to go by to represent ourselves. You know, it's just... uh. It's a little bit easier. All right, so the next thing we got to do is open up a terminal. All right, so we're going to go with console because it's built in here. And we're going to do control shift plus 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 to bump it up a little bit more. And we're going to install the new mix icons. So it's sudo DNF. So sudo administrator privileges. DNF is package manager. In means to install. And we're going to type new mix. We're going to hit tab. We're going to type I C icon theme, and then there's square, but we want circle. It's not going to let us do it because it's already installed. But if you type circle and you hit the tab key and hit enter, it will install it. Okay. Here, let's see what it does. Yeah, it will only let us install the square. You could use a square if you want, but I'm not that guy. I'm just not that guy. Now, once it's installed, we're going to go to settings. We're going to go to more appearance settings. We are going to go to icons. And I see I've got the cosmic icons here too. We're going to select new mix circle and hit apply. And then the icons are going to update and look pretty. Now, if you want to change to blue icon folders, it's going to require something else. So we're going to open up this and hope it doesn't blow up. It didn't blow up. It didn't blow up. Okay, we got really lucky on that. So I'm not sure, but I might need to also install the Plasma workspace, but it's a little bit out of date, I think. And I'm not sure if there's anything in there I need to install, but we're here for new mix folders. All right, new mix folders. And we're gonna download this. We're gonna open up the current location. And I need to bring this somewhere pretty. God damn it. I really don't like Dolphin. Look, Dolphin, if I'm going to move something somewhere, okay? I'm trying to move it there. So don't ask me if I want to move it there. Just uh, do what's supposed to be done. And make sure it's done. Now, I already have Numix in here. It's right here. We're going to enter the folder. I'm going to open up in Terminal. We're going to do sudo slash numix and hit tab. 
enter our password, and we're going to change this to blue. Hitting apply will change this pretty much system wide. So you're good to go. Now, next, we need to get rid of a lot of uh, fugliness. Okay. Just one second, let that finish. And what I find fugly most of all is everything in the system tray. We're going to switch this to small because I like things compact. And I'm just going to start disabling things. You don't have to disable anything. This is just a me thing. And I like honestly doing it. I mean, we got blue man. We don't need this. Uh, brightness and color. I don't need that. Camera indicator. I don't need you or you or you. ADE connect can go suck a donkey. And you. Network's fine. Power and battery's fine. I don't have a printer. Clipboard. I don't need you. Don't need you. Don't need you. I don't need you. I'll add you differently. And you along with you and always shown. Okay. So that cleans up everything. And the reason being is because I don't want things to be, you know, too messy. Don't like when things are messy. I know I have a messy dock at the moment, but there it is. We did it. So now how do we deal with this? You can change this by going here and configuring application launcher. You can click icon. You can choose your application if you want to. I'm going to reset this back to Fedora. But you can go in here and hit choose and hit browse and turn this into any icon you want. I'm going to keep the Fedora one. Now, I'm advising you against themes for a reason. Because currently, I don't think the theme that I usually works will allow me to function with it properly. Uh, it causes stutter and stuff but hopefully we can use it. I don't really know. Let's try plasma style. We're going to get new and Sonoma. And this is the one that I usually use. And we're going to just try to use it because that rounds everything out. Okay. So that one's fine. You can use that one. Um, I really need to change the icon size now to 52 there. That solves that problem because it, the, the whole theme just changes the way everything works. Now, windows decorations, I believe this is the one that I had the problem with. All right. So we're going to try, what are you? You're pretty Sonoma. I know I say it weird. I say everything weird. Are you not there? All right. Well, we're going to have to use this as an example for today. Okay. Hit apply. And let's see. I mean, that's not that bad. You can see it's a bit buggy. And there's not really very much lag with it but it's definitely not as stable as breeze so we're going to edit breeze to draw a circle around the buttons and that should hopefully give me the same effect didn't draw it around all the buttons but it did it enough where it works for me all right so there you kind of have it I guess, I mean, you can go to application style and you can apply whatever you want here. Like there's cave and dark. Uh, we don't really have anything else, do we? No, we don't. I mean, you can always configure this, but I like to apply something else here, but it's not there. Windows decorations, color. A lot of. Where are you? I know I have one here. Round, curved. Do we actually have Cave Antum installed? H how do we have Cave Antum installed? When did we install Cave Antum? Weird. I don't know. That's weird. Do we, do we have Cave Antum? Why? How? When? Uh, what do we have here? 
Oh, we have a lot of stuff. Look at that. Ew. I mean, okay. It doesn't apply to here, but yeah, that's a whole nother level of customization for another time. Anyway, there it is. Uh, we're all done and set up now. We have the dock. We have the toolbar. I showed you how to grab the Numix circle icons and how to deal with the Numix folders. And that should pretty much be it. I don't want to really go through anything else. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. This is an updated guide from a previous guide. So, you know, subscribe, like the video, share the video and uh, have a great day.